Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Shaira and I'm a fashion advertising photographer based in Manila, Philippines. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. A lot of my videos are about um, thrifting and secondhand things and how I wear or style my finds. I also have the occasional collection video such as this one. So if any of those things interest you, I hope you stay and subscribe. So this is my entire Doc Martens collection for 2022. I did this back in 2018 and I think my collection has changed quite significantly since then. I sold a lot of pairs. I also gave away a lot of pairs, even those that I said that I would keep forever. I, I just ended up giving to friends and people I knew who would use them more. I also have a lot more current styles than my last video because if you watched that or if you want to watch that a lot of them were purchased secondhand off eBay, Etsy, our local Depop which is called Carousel but I think I have more than a couple of pairs that I actually bought from stores or the Doc Martens website just because these are newer styles that I think really complement my current wardrobe style or my current fashion i don't know what you call it but these styles just appeal to me a lot more and back in the 90s or the 2000s they didn't have these yet so i just bit the bullet and bought them brand new because they are quite difficult still to find on the second hand market i have around 30 plus pairs to show not all of them are boots i have quite a fondness for Doc Martens sandals, so maybe I'll start with those first. Now I am from the Philippines, so if you're watching this anywhere else in the world, I apologize in advance if I don't have the links for majority of these boots, except perhaps to the current styles. I also am not familiar with the names of a lot of these because as I mentioned earlier, I tend to buy my Doc Martens secondhand. They don't usually come with boxes. So if you know the name or model of any of the shoes that I show, please feel free to leave them in the comment box down below. I would love to know what they're called or perhaps what year they were made. I am so in love still with Doc Martens and I don't think I'll ever stop buying them. Even though my tastes have changed, I can always find a Doc Martens style that appeals to me. I've been wearing and collecting Docs for more than a decade now. I believe one of my first lookbook entries was back in 2011 and I already had a couple of, more than a couple of pairs back then. My boots are always in rotation and for context, I have to wear a lot of Docs in my line of work because I am always on the go. I am a photographer and not all of our shoots are inside comfortable studios. A lot of the times we're outside on the field, I have to climb things, I have to, <laughs> I have to run, um, I need that grip. That's why Doc Martens are my preferred footwear and it just goes with a lot of the clothes in my closet. As you can see, I have a very colorful wardrobe and that is just the beginning of it. So the docs you're gonna see are mostly black and brown. I am sorry for those who are looking for more exciting Doc Martens, but this is really what I wear and use since I've been wearing docs for quite some time now. I've gathered a few tips or hacks, I should say, over the years to make wearing docs more comfortable. A lot of people say once you break in your docs, they are the most comfortable things ever, and that is true to some extent. I have some pairs that really need to be worn worn lots and lots of times before they get soft, but I've also purchased a couple that are comfortable from the get-go. So I just want to share some of the things I use to make that transition a bit easier or a bit more comfortable, especially if you are a first-time docs buyer or user. I have watched a lot of videos about breaking in your docs, and I haven't tried the hammer method, I haven't rolled them in anything. The best way for me to break in my docks is really by wearing them, but I wear them with some implements. I think these are the four essential hacks for Doc Martens that you can buy. If you have a pair that you feel uncomfortable in or that pinch or that hurt, these are 
tried and tested and you can get these off Amazon. I personally bought mine from Shopee and Lazada which is kind of our counterpart but I will look for these on Amazon and put the links down below. For those of you in the Philippines, I'm going to put the Lazada and Shopee links down as well. The first thing that I can't live without in my shoe closet is this. So this is just foam tape. This is very convenient because you can just rip off a tiny bit and apply it to your skin. So wherever you feel that pinching or that discomfort, that's where you put this tape. And I've used these for boots, for sneakers. I have quite a complicated relationship with my feet. They're, they're kind of wide and they're bony, so I just always have discomfort with shoes no matter what I wear. And that's just my luck, I guess, because I love shoes so much. So I try to find ways to make my footwear work. This is very affordable, very, very convenient, and super light to bring. I have this in the car and also in my camera bag because you'll never know when a shoe is going to feel uncomfortable. This next hack is, well, next to this one, one of the most helpful shoe hacks ever, especially when it comes to docks and boots. So these are silicone <laughs> socks or grips or heel support things. They are called different things on different websites. So they are made of this stretchy material. They also have holes here um, for breathability. These are so, so comfortable and very easy to wear. You just put your foot in here. So this part goes over the top of your foot where it, where it bends. So if this is the foot, it goes over here and it stops any pinching. These are so, so helpful. They go under socks as well. Also very affordable. Again, the links are going to be down below. And speaking of socks, you want to wear socks that are thick. I actually have thicker socks, but these work just as well. Or you can also double your socks. I tend to get the long sport socks because those are just always thicker. Like sometimes they even have that grip. I also have these insoles. Doc Martens sometimes can run a little big. The general consensus is that Doc Martens tend to run a little big. So I have a couple of these insoles. I just order them and have them ready in case I find myself buying a new pair of Doc Martens. But these go inside the boots and especially the brogues or the lace-up shoes. Now when it comes to cleaning my docks, and I'll just make this short, I know you are here for the boots, I have two tried and tested or trusted uh, cleaning solutions for my Doc Martens. No, I have to make that three. I just don't have the other one on hand. I love using the Cadillac leather cleaner and the Cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion. They really do the job so well. There's just like that funny vinegary smell when you first use them, but they really do get the job done. So I'm going to be linking these two. I just use a clean rag to wipe and then another dry rag to buff. I also have cleaning wipes. So these also go in the car and in my camera bag because my shoes get dirty a lot or often, so I like having cleaning wipes. These are in convenient um, packets, but here at home I have bigger packets. So this is leather wipes anytime, anywhere. I don't know if this is on Amazon. If it is, I will also put the link down below, but these are great, especially for white shoes. I think by far these are the best wipes I've ever used, and I'm pretty sure they don't damage the leather because they're made for leather. I am on the side of caution sometimes when I use cleaning products, like I don't want them to be too harsh. So it's trial and error. Um, so far all my trials have been successful. Uh, no Doc Martens were harmed in the trials of these cleaning products. So that's it for the cleaning part. One last thing before I get to the shoe collection, so this will be about sizing. I am normally a US size 8. That is my perfect size. In Italian, it's 38 or 38.5. Uh, European sizing, I tend to do 39 or 38.5 of course it will depend on the shoe but for boots generally whether they're from Doc Martens or if they're cowboy boots or 
boots from any other brand, I always try to go for 39. So that's an equivalent to UK6 in Doc Martens. And UK6 is really my true size in Docs with a little wiggle room. So for open-toed sandals, I am okay with a UK5, but if I can get the UK6, then I will. But like I said earlier, a lot of these things are second-hand, so I only buy what I can find if I'm buying from eBay or Etsy. Honestly, the way I buy or find my Doc Martens, I just type Doc Martens UK6 and then I go through the entire thing and then see what jumps out at me. If I don't see anything, I'll go and type UK5. So that's usually like a second choice. So there I hope that helps you or gives you an idea about the sizing for Doc Martens. So without further ado, let's get started. I closed this so you have a better view of the shoes. I will also put maybe photos or videos if I have any and also a description of the shoe if I find it still on the website or online somewhere. I just hope that will help you a little bit more. So I'm going to be starting with the sandals. I have three pairs of the same model. Let me just show them all to you to make this video a little bit faster because we do have a lot to go through. So these are the Gryphon sandals. I know for a time they also had this in red. I've also seen a silver one. I almost considered that. What I love about the Gryphon sandals, aside from the very bouncy sole, is how soft the leather is on top. These are so great to walk in. I love wearing these with colorful socks. I tend to wear this when I run errands or if I'm doing the groceries, um, when I go thrifting. These are one of my staple sandals. I do have Birkenstocks and other sandals, but I find these way more comfortable. The blue one is another fun pair. It's a statement shoe. I love wearing this when I have tops that have patterns that are blue or green, perhaps something in contrasting colorway. This just makes a great accent. So I would wear this with a top like this, a top like this, then the black one of course, a very very safe choice. I love the buckles because they're gunmetal, so it doesn't matter if I'm wearing gold jewelry or silver jewelry. Today I'm wearing all silver, but sometimes I wear all gold. I think this still looks great. Only thing is that it stains my white socks, so I don't know how I can clean the leather underneath, but I've learned my lesson. If I'm gonna wear socks with these, I want to make sure my socks are not white. <laughs> this one is my latest purchase. This is the George Westfield leather sandals in dark brown. I got them in a UK 6. I love how these have the ankle strap. It's also adjustable, and like the Gryphons, well, all the Doc Martin sandals in general are just so soft and cushiony and pliable, so very, very comfortable to wear. It's like a suede material, so even if you don't have socks, it's just so nice to step on or step into. In general, I like my feet enclosed, so this is a great alternative to my Gryphon sandals. These are the Brelade in Brando leather. They're a little bit dusty, but these are the sandals I wear the most just because they're so easy to slip into. They don't have the heel strap, so when I'm in a pinch or if I just need to grab a pair of shoes and run errands, these are what I reach for most often. I apologize if a lot of these are dirty because I really really use them and sometimes I, when I get home I'm just too tired to clean my shoes. So what I do is I just do a general cleaning of my Doc Martens. Next up are these super cute and very dirty sandals. I haven't worn these in years, I think since doing that uh, Doc Martens collection video. Just because they were all the way at the back of my closet and I kind of forgot about them, which I'm very sorry about because these are so cute. They are very kind of 90s, if you remember those jelly sandals. I really should wear these. I'm gonna position these towards the front of my closet so I don't forget to wear them. These are in a patent leather. I would wear these with maybe a floral dress with a white shirt underneath. 
Another pair of sandals that are very comfortable. I wear these mostly to walk the dog. They are cushiony and nice and bouncy like all my other sandals. These are apparently a UK 7 or an EU 41. So that's why they've been slipping off my feet. I thought all this time they were a UK 6. I have this pair which also appeared in my 2018 Doc Martens collection video. I really love the style of this shoe. It gives that vintage vibe. It's two-toned. These are so so cute. Also haven't worn them in a while. These are made in England. A similar pair that also appeared in my 2018 video. These are also uh, made in England with a tiny tiny platform. These are nice and bouncy and you can wear them with or without socks. I tend to wear this pair with dresses or trousers. Ushering us into the lace-up shoe category is this pair. I also don't know the name of this one. Again, I just go on to eBay or Etsy. I type UK6, Doc Martens, and then whatever appeals to me, I will bid on or I will buy. This was one of those pairs. It had no name, it just said slip on Doc Martens. And these are kind of like bowling shoes in their style. I think I've only worn these with cropped jeans just to show off the really unique design. Well, unique to my Doc Martens because everything else you're gonna see after these are black and brown. So enjoy this view while it lasts. This next pair is a sister model. And I say that because they share a very similar design. You can see the similarity. They're both a round toe. They have that nice thick sole, yellow stitching. They don't hit my foot as much. I didn't own the tape or know about the foam tape until I got my Jaden Maxis. So prior to that, I've just been using thick socks and band-aids <laughs> whenever my feet would hurt from my Doc Martens. This is a cool retro pair. This one has a square toe, it has the wingtip broguing. I really love the square toe. These just give that extra space and breathing room. They are also such a cool silhouette, not your typical brogue style that have like a rounded um, toe. From the side, they remind me a lot of the shoes back in the 70s. That's why I love these so much. I think out of all the lace-up shoes that I have, these are my favorite ones in terms of looks. Also made in England. In the interest of time, I'm gonna be holding up four pairs of the same model. These are my wingtip brogues. I hope that's what they're called. These three are vintage. The black one, the black and white one, and the black and brown one. This tritone one, I'm not really sure. I feel like it's a newer model. It doesn't look like the three like these have the contrast stitching and this doesn't these ones are all a bit wider and more chunky so i guess they're not really the same uh, model i got this off carousel i like wearing this one with tops or outfits that share the same color family so if it has a blue or maroon or brown then i'll wear this shoe these three are I guess some of the oldest in my collection. They also appeared in my first Doc Martens collection video, but I've had these for such a long time. I'd say a decade already. So I've been giving more wear time to my other pairs, but occasionally I'll go back to these and re-wear them just because they're so classic. I have fond memories of wearing these to shoots. So back then if I didn't wear my Doc Martens boots and I didn't have all my Converse and Adidas or the things that I wear now. These are my staple shoot shoes. Another pair of black Oxfords. These are Hawkins. This has green stitching but you can't really tell because it's really dark. So these are my more dressy Doc Martens. I wear these with white socks or black socks. I would wear this with smart trousers or a blazer and a nice button-down shirt. I have insoles for them because they are so old that the logo or the, the insoles have really stiffened up. This is what it says. Hawkins, the original Doc Martens, which is why I still included them in this video. A very fun pair that kind of shares the same silhouette and cut. I think these are my most fun Doc Martens. So this is a zebra print or patterned 
pair. This is leather and velvet. I found them quite easy to pair with my outfits, but then again, these are just black and white, so they're basically neutrals. These are just really fun, especially worn with colored socks. I would love to wear these with a brightly colored pant, a nice blazer, so many possibilities. I think this would really add that cute pop to any outfit. This pair might surprise you. I know I said I didn't have a lot of exciting Doc Martens. This is I guess still kind of neutral, it's just quite different. So these are the iridescent crackle platforms. I am not quite sure how to wear these yet. I think I've only worn them twice. Let me focus. There, you see that. So they kind of look gray, and I don't have a lot of gray things in my wardrobe, so I'm imagining this with more of a basic outfit, maybe a white shirt and gray or black jeans. I'll figure it out eventually, but maybe I can also play on the colors that are reflected. I see mostly purple and bluish green, so maybe that will be my starting point or jump off point. Just jumping in really quickly with these boots that I forgot to mention, I keep them stored along with my western boots and my animal print boots, so I totally forgot about these. But these are kind of a unique pair as well. Snake skin, iridescent pink, and gray. I tend to wear these with purple pants, silver pants. These are the 9490s. They're so comfortable because the leather, as you can see, is quite soft. I got these off eBay. And I also want to quickly show this pair. These aren't mine, but I wanted uh, this model because one of our set designers was wearing the one with a single strap. So I set out to find one and then I found it on a website. Not the Doc Martens one. They didn't have it in my size, so I got it for my partner. And he really loves these sandals. I just wanted to show them because I feel like I don't really have any collaboration Doc Martens. Yeah, I just wanted to show these. Uh, if you can still find them, they're great for everyday wear. Comfy, of course. No breaking in needed because as you can see, these straps are a kind of neoprene. These are great. Yeah, if you can find them, get them. And back to the video. We've come to the last of my lace-up shoes. This by far is my most comfortable and most worn pair of lace-up shoes. The laces are flat and wide. They also have that air cushion sole. I love wearing this with rolled up vintage jeans and a vintage tee. They're quite chunky looking, very 90s looking. But that's what I love about them. Sorry about the <laughs> doorbell. It's actually Christmas day today as I'm filming this. So packages or, or gifts are coming in. <laughs> I hope someone gives me a pair of Doc Martens. But I'm usually the one who gives Doc Martens as presents. I think this next pair is maybe just a bit more difficult to find. There are a lot of black versions. Black and cherry. Red, I think. But the white ones were a little bit harder for me to find and I really wanted them. I think I saw in the Wander Years post a video about them. So I found these on Depop and they came all the way from the UK. They were very heavy so the shipping costs just really piled up. They're so hard to find, especially here in the Philippines. I don't know where else I can find these so I just... Shipping took a long time too because I use the shipping service. It has to be sent to the hub and then sent here. It was all worth it. These are the cutest. These are a size 5. So I wanted them that much. I knew they were going to be snug on me, but I really just wanted them apparently. I have worn these with overalls, with jeans, with dresses. They just give that nostalgic look that I love going for. I've worn these to work, whole day in a studio, up and down ladders, carrying lights, very dependable shoes. They are solid. So even if a light stand fell on my foot, I wouldn't feel a thing. These are incredibly well made. Since we're doing the white shoes anyway, I'm gonna show you three pairs of boots that are white. The first one is the... 1460 Pascal Max in optical white in Pisa. The sole is what is down here, so it says Quad Retro Max. Surprisingly, this is one of the pairs of boots that I wear the most. They just make any outfit look so nice. A monster of a sole. It's huge. It's heavy. 
but somehow still very comfortable. I like how the shoelace holes are gunmetal. They don't jump out at you as much as, let's say, the Jaden Max ones, which are a shiny, shiny silver. I like how these are just subdued with the airwear stamp on it. This one I can wear without my heel support, I can wear without tape. The leather is very soft, so these didn't really need any breaking in. So if you're looking for a comfortable pair of platforms, I highly recommend the Pascal Maxis. The pair I got prior to that were the Sinclair Whites in Quad Retro, shorter than the Quad Retro Max. So I also got these from the Doc Martens website, brand new, prior to the Pascal ones. I just kept wearing these because white boots just give a different feel to your outfit. It just makes everything pop compared to the black ones that just kind of ground everything. The white ones are just all the more attention stealing. So the Sinclairs have a removable zipper. You can just unlace this entire thing and then just wear it regularly. You can just lace it up as normal. You just tuck in the laces there. And I don't find them to be uncomfortable when they're right over there. They're not tight or anything. But now that I have the Quad Retro Maxis, it's kind of hard to go back down to this height. The OG pair of white boots I have, I found on eBay back in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. These are vintage and very dirty. I haven't worn them also since getting the Pascals and the Sinclairs. This is what started the white boots uh, thing for me. You have to loop them through these metal hoops. I apologize for how dirty these are, but these were worn a lot. Truthfully, they're still in good condition. Like none of the leather has cracked or peeled. The tags are also intact. And I also put the leather lotion when I can because these need more TLC than all my other boots uh, because of the age and also the leather that was used. Super happy that I found this pair. Moving on to the very first pair of Doc Martens that I bought new from the store. Like I actually went to the store and took home a bag because I just usually get my Doc Martens in the mail. I'm talking about the Jaded boots, the original platform boots in my collection. And I got these in Polished Smooth. They are a little bit dirty but I still wear these. I just wear the Jaden Maxis a lot more. Seriously, when you get the Max version of any of these boots, it's just so hard to go back to the lower platform. But if I guess I wanted a lighter feel, I would step down again. So here they are, my original platform babies. And the zip. So easy to put on and to wear. I love wearing these with ripped jeans, um, with dresses, especially with the dresses. They just give you that extra height. And looking at it now, it doesn't even seem that high. But back then, coming from normal Doc Martens, these were, to me, really cool shoes. And I still find them really cool now. It's just that when you compare the, the soles, it's just so hard to go back to this. But I love these. They really, they really started my love for Doc Martens platforms. So this, oh, so heavy. This is the Jaden Max Black and Buttero, Buttero, Buttero. It's a smooth leather. Please let me know how to pronounce this correctly. In the Quad Retro Max, and I got this in a UK six. Show you see what I mean by the difference in the platform uh, before I compare the two I just want to show you the laces that they originally came with for a while I wore them with these laces I think I might switch back to these because I have a lot of just plain black boots these are so cool especially with the graphic t-shirts and high-waist vintage jeans or black jeans so yeah I might switch to these so this is the Jaden Max. This is the Jaden. 
Does it look different even? <laughs> it doesn't look that big on screen, but when you put them on, you really feel the lift from these ones. Yeah, they really don't look so different on screen. But trust me, they feel way different when they're worn. And if you can see the hardware, that's just shiny, shiny, shiny silver compared to the gunmetal of the Jadens. And the holes are also much bigger. So these are statement shoes for sure. I'd say they run big for Doc Martens. These are UK6, but it feels like it's bigger than all my other boots. So I would say that the Jaden Maxis run big. For everything else, I've had no problems. Like I just wear UK6 like I normally do, but UK6 and the Jaden Maxis are kind of big. So I would recommend sizing down. But if you can try them in store, that would be a better option. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. That's just based on my experience. I wore the ankle support things for these because at the beginning, this was kind of pressing down on my foot. I really needed those um, ankle supports. And also since they are so heavy, this part kept dragging my ankles. So it kept scraping. Every time I took a step, the weight would just pull the entire thing down so my foot would constantly be rubbing on this part inside so these really go in these nowadays i don't have to as much i feel like they're softer like look how creased these are i'd say they've been broken in quite a bit i really wear these a lot i've worn these boots to concerts, to gigs, to shoots. I don't think twice about wearing them even though they're very heavy, like that's how comfortable I am with them already. They just show a lot more creasing than let's say the textured leather ones and I don't mind. I really like how they look. I have another pair of the Sinclairs, this time in this beautiful croc embossed leather. A shinier, glossier leather Hang on, let me <laughs> wipe these for you. The dust just shows so much more since it's a shiny leather. I also kept the zippers on, like the white pair, because it makes them more unique. And also the croc leather is a first for me, for my docks. I wear this when I want to look extra nice, even though it's a rock and roll kind of boot. I got these off eBay and these did not need any breaking in. This pair I'm very excited to show because it really has the most distinct look uh, out of all my boots. I know the Jaden Max is a very statement shoe and the Croc ones too, but these don't look like anything else in my collection. Uh, these are the Travona boots with the, I believe, quad retro sole. And it's mono stitching, so it's black on black. Even the hardware is black, not gunmetal. So it's such a beautiful pair. I wear these a lot too, even though you have to manually lace them up because the Jaden, the Jaden Max, the Sinclair, they all have zippers for ease of wear. These ones you have to loosen and then lace up like normal boots, like people do. <laughs> Just look at these boots. They are so nice. I love how the laces go all the way to the side of the shoe. The leather is also such great quality. They're so heavy duty looking, but they just go so well with lots of cooler outfits. These make me feel really good um, and they bring so much to an outfit. They just look so unique. Even if you wear thin socks, like I don't know what it is. I don't know what makes them so comfy. Well, maybe I guess because this part is softer compared to the other boots. And I've worn these so much, but they look they look great for how much I've worn them. You can hardly see any scuffs. If you can find them, buy them. The Travonas.
This time I'm gonna be showing you a pair that I wear when I travel or when I am on the go a lot. Well, the next two pairs I'm gonna show you are my work boots. If they are scuffed and dirty, <laughs> uh, that's the reason why. I also do not know the model of these. I believe they are also vintage boots. I got them in pretty good condition actually, but I've worn them in snow, in the rain, in mud, and they've held up really well. So you can see how scuffed they are. But I really, really, really wear these when I need to be protected from the elements. This pair is what comes with me when I shoot. I don't know if they are available anymore. They are very, very light. They hardly weigh anything. They're so easy to put on. They're so easy to travel with because if you brought the regular Doc Martens, they would eat up a lot of your baggage allowance. These are even lighter than my Chucks. I always travel with these and they are worn so much because I wear them on the beach when we have outdoor shoots, I wear them in the fields, I wear them um, through water and rain if I need to step in puddles or if I need to climb trees or if I'm just in the sand all day. These are great. These have more character than any of my other boots because they've been to They've been to so many places and shoots with me. My trusty pair, very grateful for these ones. In my video back in 2018, I showed my oldest pair of boots that I said I would never give away, that I said I would frame if I could. Lo and behold, I actually ended up giving those to the sister of one of my close friends, but I kind of missed having just those plain black boots, like standard issue Doc Martens. So I did a little search on Carousel, again, which is our local Depop, and I found these ones. Just good old plain standard Doc Martens. These are made in England, a UK size 6. I have not worn these since purchasing them, but I just want to have them. They're smooth leather and if you can see the edges are raw unlike the other ones that have that kind of finishing. I have yet to wear these but since I have the Jadens and the Sinclairs and the Travonas, I rarely find a need to bring these out. Once I'm scared of scuffing these. I don't know why because Doc Martens are meant to be worn but just seeing them in this New condition makes it hard for me to pull it out for work. One day I'll probably give them the wear that they deserve, but I just like knowing that they're in my collection. These are my trusty brown 1460s, I believe, I think. I got these secondhand off eBay, so again without the label or without the description, but these have the yellow and black um, laces and the soft leather. Uh, they are so old that they are cracking um, or peeling along the top so I would probably put my foam tape over these just so that they won't cut or bite into my socks when I wear them. This is the boot that I have tattooed on my back with all its wrinkles and its scuffs on my back. These have also been with me to many, many, many shoots. Again, before the Converse and the sneakers and my other boots, I only wore Doc Martens. I have so many pictures wearing these boots, I had different colored hair, I had quite a different style back then, but I think whatever style I end up trying or gravitating towards, my Docs can just blend in seamlessly with anything I choose to wear. I just love my docs. This is one of the pairs that started that for me, just feeling comfortable in my docs. Whatever outfit, whatever occasion, if I had my docs on, I knew I was in good hands, in good souls. A similar pair to the black ones that I wore in Japan are these. These are really, really heavy and dirty and muddy. I wore these um, when did I wear these last? I know it was raining and very, very muddy. If I can find the shoot that I used these for, I will 
put it over here so if my outfit for example has more browns then i will pick these up also a vintage pair from ebay no description um but i remember it saying it had like a toe cap so it's it's very hard great for setting up equipment for carrying stuff around very safe in these also skid resistant they're just so heavy there's no way you're gonna slip when you wear these then this pair uh, was found in a thrift store or ukay ukay as we call it here in the philippines obviously haven't worn these as much but i still wear them i like the color and how soft the leather is i think i avoid wearing these sometimes because there's a part of the stitching that kind of cuts into my foot so as soon as I figure that out or tape it, I think I'm gonna wear these a lot more. But it's the same cap toe, and I like how much higher they are. So these are 10 hole docks, my only pair of 10, 10 eye, sorry, 10 eye docks. The last boot or ankle boot that I have is this one. This is Nubuck material. I remember wearing this most in Turkey. Yeah, that was a fun trip. I was kind of scared to bring it along because Nubuck is a little harder to clean and it gets dirty easily compared to the smooth or pebbled leathers of the other boots. But I like the color a lot. I basically planned most of my outfits around these boots. I actually have one last thing to show you. Hang on. Before we end this video, I want to end it on a really cute note. But look at this bag. This is the only Doc Martens bag I have. It is a tiny, tiny satchel, which surprisingly can carry cards, uh, lipstick, mints, keys, uh, change. It can even hold an SD card in here. It is the cutest thing, and I bought this from my friend Jonard. I don't know where he found this, but I had to have it. I was like, I will bid on this thing, and I won the bid so so happy about that one if you want to see more of my outfits and how i wear everything that i showed and everything in these closets i have my instagram account for my thrift and finds well mostly thrift and finds it's shiraluna.wardrobe on instagram and if you want to see what i do for a living or anything else I do outside of thrifting, I'm going to be listing all my Instagram accounts over here. I also sometimes do TikTok videos, so that's at shireluna.tiktok. If you like this video, please give it a like, and I would love for you to subscribe as well. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Bye!